to start exporting, go to File, Export, Media. This can be kind of a pain after a while, so I recommend using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl-M. The first thing you are going to want to do is set the format to H.264. This format works best for YouTube. Now, there are a ton of preset options, but unless you are trying to change the aspect ratio of your footage, I recommend sticking with match source high bitrate. This will ensure that if you were editing a 60 frames per second 1080p video, that's what Premiere is going to export. Now, as far as more advanced video settings go, the main things you want to change are the bitrate options. Changing the bitrate encoding to VBR2 pass will increase how long the render takes, but will give your video better quality. You can also increase the target and max bitrate. These will increase video quality, but you want to be careful with adjusting them too much because they can increase your file size dramatically. I find the defaults work fine for my purposes, but if you have a video with a lot of fast action, you might want to increase them. Next, go to the Audio tab. Here, just make sure your audio format is set to AAC and the sample rate is at 48,000 Hz. And that's pretty much all you really need to worry about with your export settings, so you can go ahead and hit the export button to save your video. Alright, and that's all there is to it. You now know which export settings to use for YouTube.